Nakikita nyo ba mga bagay sa paligid ko? How are we going to classify them? Know how in this video. Good day learners and today we're going to talk about set. So what is a set? A set is a group or collection of objects called elements. A set is often denoted by a capital letter. Ang bawat member ng set ay may common na karakteristik. It could be a set of flowers, a set of animals, a set of school supplies, or a set of subjects. Now, how are we going to define these sets? We have three ways. First one. Now, the first uh, way of describing a set is through the use of roster method or pwede natin siyang describe na listing method or listing the elements. So, ano ba yung roster method? Roster method is a method of describing a set by listing all the elements. As we have discussed a while ago, a set is composed of elements. Okay. Paano ba siya gawin? Limbawa, yung rule natin or yung description ng set is gaya nito. Number one. The set of primary colors. Okay? Para, mas, uh, sa, para magamit natin yung roster method, all we need to do is to list down all the elements. So, ano nga ba, ano nga ba yung mga primary colors? We have the colors red, yellow, and blue. So, gaya ng uh, uh, definition natin kanina, ang set is denoted by a capital letter. So, you can use any letter, A, B, C, and so on. But since we're talking about colors, so I can use letter C. So all we need to do is to list down all the elements. So primary colors, yung sabi ko kanina, we have the red, yellow, and blue. Okay. So C is equal to curly braces, red, yellow, blue. Now, tandaan, ang lahat ng elements ng set ay naka-enclose sa curly braces. Tapos, lahat ng elements ay separated ng kama. Okay? And you have also to remember that the order of the set is not important. So, pwede maunang maisulat si yellow, tapos si blue, then last si red. Okay? Let's now have the second example. The set of months in a year that starts with letter A. So, since we're talking about months, I can write here or use letter M as the name of my set. So, M is equal to curly braces. Then, we're going to write now the months. Ano ba yung months na nagsisimula sa letter A? We have two. We have April and August. So, again, in any order. April, comma, then August. Then, i-close agad natin ng curly braces. Last example, the set of whole numbers. Okay. So, whole numbers, I can use letter W. Curly braces. Then, I'm going to write the uh, numbers that belongs to, or the number that belo the numbers that belong to uh, the set of whole numbers. So, when we say whole numbers, we are starting with 0 and the rest of the counting numbers. So, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, Four and so on. As you notice, uh, there are infinite number of whole numbers. O hindi natin uh, kaya maisulat lahat ng whole numbers. Therefore, gumagamit tayo ng tatlong dots. Ano ibig sabihin ng tatlong dots? Anong tawag dito? We call this one as ellipsis. Okay. Ang ellipsis it signifies that our set is continuous or infinite. And this is the first method. Okay, method number two. We call this one as verbal description method. So, verbal description method is a method of describing sets using words. So, yung kanina sa number one, uh, binigay sa atin, yung given is yung description ng set. Then, we are going to list down all the elements. This time, nakalist down na yung mga elements, then we are going to describe them using, of course, words. Okay. Ini-describe natin sila based sa kanilang uh, characteristics. Okay. Let's have uh, number one, set V. Set V, uh, we have the elements A, E, I, O, and U. 
So, what are these elements? Ano kaya mga elements na ito? So, itong mga elements na ito ay vowels, right? Okay, vowels sa English alphabet. So, we can describe this set as the set of... So, ito na yung answer natin. The set of vowels in the English alphabet. Okay, para mas specific siya. Pwede siyang uh, sentence. Okay? The set of vowels in the English alphabet. Or pwede rin, pwede rin yung kumpletuhin, set V is the set of vowels in the English alphabet. Okay? Pwede ito siya, pwede na ito siya. Okay? How about letter B or number 2? Set B. Set B, we have the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Okay? So what are these colors? I know that we are familiar with this one. These are the colors in a rainbow. Okay, so yung verbal description natin for set B would be the set of colors in a rainbow. Okay, so ganyan lang kadali. Okay, so yung binigay is yung list. Then all we need to do is to describe Describe the set. Okay. How about the last example? Set A. Set A, we have the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So what are these numbers? These numbers are odd numbers, right? Okay. So again, my ellipsis siya kasi the set is infinity. Or uh, this is an infinite set. So how are we going to describe set number, uh, set A? So set A is the set of odd numbers. So, ito na yung sagot natin for number 3. And, the last one. So we have here what we call set builder notation. Okay. So, what is a set builder notation? Set builder notation is a method of describing a set by saying what properties its members have. Okay. Ano ba natin siya gagawin? Let us say we have this example. Set A. Set A has the elements P, E, A, C, and E. Right? Okay. So, we're going to have some notations para ma-describe ang set na ito, or set A. So, we're going to write uh, A equal to x Now, gaya ng sinabi sa definition, kailangan mailagay sa set builder notation kung ano yung property ng bawat member ng set. Okay. So we all know that P, E, A, C, E, sila yung word, or I mean letters na nagpo-compose sa word na piece. Okay. Therefore, yung set builder notation niya would be represented by this one. So how are we going to read this set builder notation? This would be read as set A is the set of all excess such that, itong bar, pagbasa niya is such that, X is a letter in the word piece. Now, remember, since X lang yun, or isang element lang ang describe natin, therefore, the word here should be, or the verb here should be uh, in singular form. Okay, again, let's read. Set A is the set of all X's such that X is a letter in the word piece. Okay, so ito na yung set builder notation natin for this particular set. How about the second set? We have here set B. So, on set B, my elements na 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Ano kaya itong mga numbers na ito? If you can still remember. So, these numbers are prime numbers, right? Okay. So, let's now describe this set using the set builder notation. So, again, write first the name of the set, which is the capital letter B. Then, 
Paano lang natin itong format? Then x is what? x is a prime number. A prime number. Again, ang pagkaka-describe is in singular form or in singular manner. Kaya yung verb natin is is. So let's read this set. Set B is the set of all x's such that x is a prime number. Okay? Let's have the last one. We have here set C. Set C, ang members niya ay science, English, Filipino, at mathematics. So these are subjects, right? Okay? So we can write here C X is a subject. Pwede ganyan na kasimple. Okay, let's read now the set builder notation. Set C is the set of all X's such that X is a subject. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.